1995, a record number of children being diagnosed with autism. The CDC says stats show one in every 36 children. But is there a connection between your genes and autism? Fox Carolina's Gary Beal explains how researchers here in the upstate are looking for any ties and how that could help families. The Greenwood Genetic Center has been established in Greenwood for decades and now a nonprofit that helps children with autism will have a campus there as well. The partnership could bring answers to the cause of autism. Ashley, you want to push? Christy Irons cherishes every moment with her 14 year old son Asher. All done? He is hilarious. He has, he has such a good sense of humor. He uses his iPad to help communicate because he has autism. He will uh, very clearly tell you what he likes and does not like. <laughs> Nigel and Christy adopted him from Ukraine when he was four. When we first got his diagnosis, it was really, it was really a difficult transition. But um, once we kind of learned how to navigate it better, you kind of learned that the autism part of him is um, just kind of who he is. And we appreciate his... Uh, quirkiness, I think. <laughs> that was pretty good. <laughs> it's been challenging, but they are getting help with education and therapy from the Project Hope Foundation. It has meant a tremendous amount of freedom for Asher because I feel like he has learned a lot of safety skills that were a really big issue when he first started going. <laughs> They're excited about a new campus for the nonprofit that could serve more families. This is where it will be built. But the best part is that it's right next to the Greenwood Genetic Center. It's knowing that we're right there in the hub of the research that is going on, that we're in the midst of some amazing organizations on that campus, and being a partner in all of that is just huge for our organization. The president of the Greenwood Genetic Center, Dr. Stephen Skinner, says they already help diagnose children with autism. There are hundreds of different genes that have been associated with increased risk for autism. It's a lot of genes. About 20 to maybe at best 30% of the time we can find a genetic change that we can point to and say that's the cause for autism in your child. And but it's not as simple as that. There may be genetic changes that are predisposing factors but require certain environmental influences on top of that to cause autism. Uh, it may be that there are a combination of different genetic changes that you have to have two, three, or four things to, to cause autism. And there may be things that we don't understand yet. It's why he says research on the genetic component of autism is so important. And this could lead to possible treatment. With gene therapy and gene editing on the horizon, some point in the near future, hopefully, uh, is can we actually change the course of autism by doing some more uh, you know, future uh, treatment down the road? Hey. Do you want to play? It sounds like a bright no. future on the horizon for families with autism. But Christy says even if there is a gene therapy treatment, she's not sure if she would have her son take it. You don't want to say like they're lacking in some way because I feel like Asher is amazing the way he is. But I also think that having any part of information, even a small part of information that helps us understand what he needs and maybe better to better communicate would make a big difference. The Project Hope Foundation received more than $2 million in state funding to help with this project and others around the upstate. They hope to have the new campus built in the next two years. Carrie Beal, Fox Carolina News.